Hi, Stamping and Crafting friends. Welcome to Melissa's Crafting Treehouse. In this video, I'm going to show you eight ways to use this simple club card kit. Today's projects feature the Amazing Thanks dies, which can be purchased by themselves or as part of a bundle with the Amazing Silhouette stamp set. Today's projects also feature the awesome Pattern Party host paper. You can get this paper with host rewards when you host a Stampin' Up! party. So here is an example of a club card kit. The materials you see in front of you include enough to make two different cards, and the pieces are black and white on one side and have colored patterns on the back side. So you can use either the black and white or the colored patterns, and you can mix them up um, as you wish. And of course, you can also color the black and white panels. So I'm going to show you the eight variations that I made in this video. The first variation uses some of the pieces with colored patterns on the front side. These each have adhesive on the back side, and I'm just going to place them on my black cardstock, spacing them so there's an even edge on the left and the right, on the top and the bottom, and between each of the individual designer series paper panels. Now my card base is made with a basic white thick piece of cardstock, just folding that and burnishing it. In the kit there are materials to make one card with the sentiment thanks and the other card to use the sentiment you are amazing. I'm first going to start by assembling uh, this thanks sentiment and here I have used the white and black strip provided in the kit to do sort of an underline below the word. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I'm going to start by getting the sizing of my white piece just by placing my black thanks over the white piece and then I've just got my little black piece and I'm making that just a bit longer than the white piece. I'm going to put some glue dots on the bottom of my white strip and then I'm going to bring in my handy silicone craft mat here because there's adhesive on the back side of, of, on the back side of that white piece which will stick to my work surface um, if it's hanging over, which it likely is since that black strip is so narrow. And then I'm just going to place it right over there so that a little bit of the black is peeking out of the bottom and on the left and the right as well. Now I've used my multi-purpose liquid glue on the back side of my thin white thanks and literally just sort of drew the glue on there and I set it aside to dry so it's tacky but not um, but not goopy and messy and I did the same thing on my black piece at the very bottom. Uh, the bottom of the black will attach to that white strip and so I only put the glue on the bottom line of the thanks. Now I'm using glue dots rolled up at the top portion of the black thanks to raise it up just a little bit so it'll be at the same height as the underline at the bottom. And now you can see I've got my black piece with adhesive on the back but I can turn it over, put it on my silicone craft mat and I don't have to worry about it sticking. And then I can just attach my thanks to my assembled strips. Now off camera I have wrapped a piece of my crinkled white seam binding around the bottom of the card and tied it around with a little knot on the right hand side and I'm just attaching it to the front of the card base. And my sentiment piece is all ready to attach and I'm just going to straddle that ribbon a bit and justify it so it's just to the left of the little tie on the right. And I'm done with the first version of my card. Now for my second card I used the black and white patterns and I used the You Are Amazing and I have assembled this in a slightly different way so I'm going to show you how I did that and just like with the thanks I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue and draw lines all over the back side of those letters. And now for the black pieces I'm using mini glue dots and I'm using black mini glue dots so that it doesn't 
show or so that it's less likely to show. And I have cut some of my mini dimensionals in half for the smaller parts on the sentiment piece. And I like to use my paper piercing tool to pick up my, my mini dimensionals. Just makes it so easy to control the placement. So now I've allowed those to dry just a bit so they're tacky but not goopy and that helps to prevent the glue from oozing out as well if there's a little bit more on there than maybe I might have intended in any given spot. So now all I have to do is attach them to the front of the black piece and you may have noticed that my fingers were touching the back side where the glue was but because it's tacky and not goopy, that works just fine. I don't need to worry about getting that goopy glue on my fingers. And now for variation number three, I'm going to be bringing in some ink colors. And I'm going to use my blending brushes to apply the color to my black and white panels. In the sample you see here, I used a different ribbon. But for the card I'm making in this video, I'll be using the ribbon in the kit. So... I'm going to start with my Pacific Point ink and my blending brushes and on each of the three panels I'm starting on the bottom and applying my Pacific Point ink. And next I'm bringing in uh, a second color, my Highland Heather, which is a sort of light purple. And then last but not least I've got my gorgeous scrape that I'm applying to the top and that's actually a really dark purple. And then I'm just going to go over it with touch-ups, blending the colors and making sure they blend from top to bottom nicely. And now for this one, I'm going to use some white glue to attach my strips. And again, I'm going to space them out so there's even spacing on the top and the bottom, left and the right, and between each of the panels. Now I finish this card off by adding my ribbon at the bottom and in this case I'm actually assembling it with the crinkled seam binding, the ribbon that's in the kit. And then I'm just going to add my You Are Amazing sentiments to the top. So I'm just removing the backings of my dimensional pieces and then one by one attaching my pieces. For this next one, I mixed up the colors and the patterns of the paper just a little bit. I used Daffodil Delight, Pumpkin Pie, and Real Red for this one, starting with the Daffodil Delight at the bottom, the pumpkin in the middle, and the Real Red towards the top. For this version, I didn't use any ribbon, but I assembled the thanks in exactly the same way as on the first card. For my fifth variation, I simply flipped the orientation from landscape to portrait, kept it black and white, and mixed up the patterns again. For variation number six, I went with a green color scheme and my sentiments are underlined in the same way that I did with my thanks. Here I've used shaded spruce and granny apple green inks. For variation number seven, I used some different patterns of the colored pattern paper and I used a ribbon along the left binding and a simple thanks with no underline at all. For my last and final variation, I went with a red and pink color scheme, so I'd have a little bit of a Valentine's theme because today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And here's my full set of eight cards. As a reminder, this is one of three of the current Stampers Club projects. If you'd like to receive free classes to go in the mail, plus free Stampin' Up! products, you may want to join my online Stampers Club. To learn more, click on the little I in the upper right hand corner of your screen or click on the link in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed my project today and I look forward to seeing you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for spending some time with me today and happy crafting!